It's Joe Paterno, the winningest coach in college football history. Paterno is the new HBO film highlighting the upsetting turmoil surrounding Penn State's head coach, Joe Paterno, in his final years. But we are joined by local writer, producer, and actor, Harry Thomas, who played a role in the film right next to Al Pacino. Uh, quite big shoes to fill there, Harry. Welcome here to CT Style. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Th this is such a heavy topic matter, uh, really a, a sad movie. Uh, but tell us a little bit about how you got involved and were casted in the film. Well, the casting director got in touch with me to tell me that um, they were going to be doing a movie. They didn't name the principal actor on this movie, but they told me, look, you've been picked by the director. Uh, when I found out that the director was Barry Levinson, I go, oh my. Yeah. So I didn't really know much about this movie until um, about two, three days before it was ready to shoot. And then I found out wow. that... Um, it was Al Pacino. And, exactly. And here are some photos of you guys here. That's a, a little clip from the actual film where you, you guys are in the, the, the boardroom, the coaching room, after uh, you know, some of the really sad news broke about this whole story here. But what was it like for you uh, working side by side with Al Pacino through this film? I know that you had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. You were down filming for two weeks. So, I mean, it was pretty uh, a top secret experience. Well, what it is is like when I found out that it was Al Pacino, I felt that it was like going to a master acting class. I got mm -hmm. to work with the top, yeah. you know, the best. Was he a nice guy? I mean, what was it like working with him? He's a legend. Well, you know, he's um, a craftsman. He loves his job. And when he's on set, the energy and the excitement just rises. Yeah. It's just one of those things that you're just happy and glad to be on set. Yeah, such a cool experience for you professionally. And we have some video here uh, from the film of Pacino playing uh, Mr. Paterno. Tell us a little bit about why you think he was right for the role and what you saw on set that no, you really thought made him shine sure. in a sense. Well, Al Pacino, he's the type of person that likes to go after characters that are flawed and complex. So because of that, you know that the story is going to be a good story. Sure. So when I found out that he was going to be on it, it was like, I was so happy, you know, because I knew that as an actor, not only will my game be brought up to a, a next level, but it was going to be a wonderful and um, exciting experience. Yeah, and it's, it's really an incredible film to watch. Uh, so many emotions through it. Again, such a sad, sad story in the end. Uh, but in terms of the Pacino angle, do you think he'll be nominated for anything after this film? Uh, maybe coming up next year in the award season? Well, because this is such a heavy topic and because he always goes after characters that you know make you think, I feel that this movie could be. Could make it. Maybe an Oscar. Maybe he'll be nominated. Probably. But more importantly, I hope someday you're nominated for an Oscar. That would be nice, huh, Harry? Well, you know, not only would that be nice, but it'd be nice to hang out with Chef Plum and... Uh, oh. Little, you know, little Chef Plum shout out here during the middle of the interview. All right, hey, well, shout out to Chef Plum. Uh, Harry, we, we want to thank you so much for joining us. And you guys can check out uh, Paterno on HBO. It's a brand new film. You are in it, working right next to Al Pacino. It's great to see a Connecticut actor being able to be part of such a, a big film and with such an acclaimed actor. So we want to thank you. Thank you. All right, Harry, best of luck to you, all right?